All right then, now, I thought I'd tell you about a few things that have come across my mind recently that I've seen. And, uh, you know, they really interested me. The first was about Christmas. It's something that always happens at Christmas, yeah? Always, without fail. Now, this is true. You think of the things that happen. You list them down, the things that happen at Christmas. You always put up a Christmas tree. You always put up decorations, balloons. You give presents. You have the auntie that you've never wanted to see turn up and overstay her welcome. You get the granddad who forgets his teeth and loses them somewhere in the house and you have to hunt behind every single object and then where do you find them? Within the pineapples. Yes, chunks, that is chunks. And that doesn't make a good cocktail. Anyway, that, that, that's nothing to do with it. What else do you get? You get Father Christmas, yeah? Or you, that's your dad falling down the stairs drunk with a sack. I won't explain that one too much, I don't think. Because that, you know, and what else do you always get? What do you always get? Celebrities dying on Christmas Day. Without fail. Without fail, celebrities dying on Christmas Day. Is that not true? Am I lying? Am I? No, it's true, isn't it? You always get it. Always. And I'm, I'm just wondering, how do they do it? I mean, I know celebrities like the big exit, you know, big, you know, they like, they like to have the limelight. So what better? What better time to die than on Christmas Day itself and ruin all our bloody Christmases thinking about them? And it's always, it's never minor ones, is it? It's always your major stars, your major Hollywood stars, about 80. And you, ne you haven't heard from them in over like 20 years. You think they're already dead. And then you find out Christmas Day they've actually died. How do they plan that? Do they have wall charts stuck up on their walls? What day is it? Oh, what day is it? Is it? Uh, oh, it's no, it's, oh it's, no, it's not Christmas Day. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, I can't die yet. Give me a little bit more oxygen. That's better. Oh, wake me up in another few hours. I mean, do they do that? Do they? Oh, oh, what day is it? Is it Christmas Day? Did no one hear me? Come out. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this cough's gonna kill me. It yeah, probably will. Over oh, it, is it Christmas? It is Christmas Day. Oh, hey, oh, oh, yeah, I think I'm going now. Oh. I mean, is, do they really plan it that? I mean, how do they manage it? It's without fail. Without fail, and it's usually a comedian. You know, and that, you know, it's almost, you know, as if it's the comic joke. I'm sure it is. Right, now the other thing that's come to my attention that I heard about, yeah, and this is a really, really good one. The government actually doing something for once for, for working class people. And this is going to inspire working class people to really get in uh, it together with their children. It really is, it is. You, you, you will see, you know, you, you're going to see sort of like, you know, you won't see one parent families anymore. These families will stick together and because of their children. And I'll tell you why. Because it's a new thing. Yeah? It's great. When I was at school, if you weren't at school, if you were truant, if you didn't turn up, what did they do? They gave you the stick, didn't they? they gave you a big beating on the hand or somewhere else, yeah? Or told you off where you had to stay and write lines. Lines over and over again. What do they do now? What do they do now? They give you PlayStations. Yeah? They give you points. It's like you know your Barclay card when you make up points for it. It's like that. You know, your Tesco's club card. That's what you, you should see now. You know that's what when I get a child, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure he's as truant as possible. I'm going to make sure he's the naughtiest child that he possibly can be, because then I won't have to buy him anything for his birthday or Christmas. Nothing. And you know. If I want something for myself, you know, say I want a PlayStation, PlayStation 3 or whatever's out by then, it'll be something really expensive. I'll just make sure he's true for a whole week. I'll, I'll tie him up. I'll tie him up somewhere and he won't go to school. And then they go to school the next day and they'll give him a bloody PlayStation 3. he bring it home. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. I've got it. You see? It's clever, isn't it, eh? That's, that's, you know, that's the way. Children now have become like a Tesco club card. That's all you've got to do with them. You've got to make them be as naughty and truant as possible. I'm going to teach my kid, before he goes to school, every single bad trick he possibly can do. Spitting gum, you know, catapults, every single thing. Because then when he goes there, he'll be the naughtiest kid and he will earn so many points. And he, oh, it'll be brilliant, you know. It'll be brilliant, the amount of things that he's going to be able to bring home. Toasters, kettles, microwaves, fridges, playstations. Maybe they'll even give money by then. Ah, I'm made for life. And what if, what if I have a few of them? Like an army of truant children, naughty truant children. My goodness, that could pay off the mortgage. 
Thank you. That that is just wow. I mean, for once, the government's done something. It's brilliant, isn't it? Eh? <laughs>